So on all tubers, welcome to the PC Lover 81 channel. Uh, tonight's video is actually going to be about this Dell Inspiron 560 machine. Um, most of the parts are in, so I was able to get it up and running. Uh, we added the second DVD RW drive. Uh, I chose an OCZ Agility 3 120 gig drive. Um, it's identical to that drive that we put in a compact Presario machine that I did in the very first video. Uh, that runs really nice. Uh, Windows actually boots up quite fast on this thing. Uh, it's got a Western Digital Caviar Blue 500 gig drive for the data. It's got 8 gigs of Samsung DDR3. Uh, I believe it's 1333 RAM. Uh, I took the Pentium dual core chip out of there and put a Core 2 Duo E8400 chip in there, which is 3 gigahertz. I believe it's 6 megs of L3 cache and 1333 front side bus. Um, and if you remember from the introduction video of this machine, it came with the Dell Windows 7 installation disk and it has the uh, product key on the top of the machine, so there was no having to buy a copy of Windows. So. Thank goodness for that. That actually saved me a couple bucks on this build. Actually, on this uh, project, I should say, not a build. Um, for the power supply, because we're going to be putting a GeForce card in this in this machine that actually is a little bit power hungry, um, I decided to go with an EVGA 600 watt power supply. The model number is. It actually says it's a 600B. It's a uh, 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. Uh, not modular, but who cares? You know, with cable management that I do, I can tidy the wiring up just neatly. And uh, it looks nice in there, I promise you that. Um, video card is not here yet. I'll do a video when we get that in and show the Windows 7 benchmarks. Um, for right now, they look a little crappy. We'll move the camera over here on the tripod and try to bring them up on the screen to see if you can see them. Um, again, these things are pretty meaningless, but uh, I know how much everybody loves to see them, so uh, we'll show it right now. Uh, the little Core 2 Duo actually scored a 6.5. The RAM's a 6.8. I know when I set aside a couple bucks and put the Core 2 Quad Q5550 that I had in my Dell Optiplex 755, I put that same chip in this machine. Uh, you can expect both those scores to go up well above 7. Um, because we're just using the onboard video, the uh, Windows Aero score was a 4.5, the gaming graphics was a 3.6, and the SSD scored very well. Uh, that transfer rate on that was a 7.8, 7.9 is the best you can get, so... Uh, yeah, pretty good there. Um, so this project's coming along pretty well. Um, pull the camera back again over to the machine. Uh, it's running very cool. Uh, no issues, so to speak, with it yet. Turns right on. It's a snappy machine, even with the little just the dual core chip in it. Um, you know, she's pretty snappy. It's gonna be a nice running machine when I get it all tidied up and everything is good on it. Um, haven't decided if I'm going to sell this one or if I'm going to keep it and replace one of my other machines with it. Uh, we'll just have to see how well it does and um, if it can hold up to everyday tasks for me. Uh, it might just be able to do that. Um, the board's actually built pretty good. Most of the capacitors on the board are solid capacitors. And uh, heat sink and cooling fan, actually Dell, I used the Dell one over again when we swapped that Pentium dual core out for the Core 2 Duo. It uh, looks more than adequate, and it's not getting warm at all. So uh, I think we'll be in good shape. Um, so that's going to bring this video to a close. Um, before we finish up, I did receive a question about the... Dell Dimension E521 system and uh, installing an upgraded heatsink. Um, 
and if I could do a video on that. Um, right now, there are there's not a plan, I should say, to do a video on that. And the reason being is because I had to put some money into this project and I'm saving up to buy a house. So, you know, some things are going to take a little longer to get done than others. And again, that Dell Dimension machine is, I must, you know, stress, that machine is seven years old. Um, you know, so, I mean, we'll, we'll try a few more things with it. Uh, bear with me. We will... Um, try to do an upgrade video where we upgrade the heat sink. Um, there is one that you can get online. Uh, it's actually for the Dell Optiplex series, uh, for that mini tower version of the Dell Optiplex series, which has almost the same dimensions as the Dimension Series E521 desktop. And uh, it's going to sound weird me saying this. The heat sink is actually made for an Intel processor, but it is a heat pipe type heat sink that you could put over top of your CPU. If should it run a little bit warmer with the stock heat sink, you can pull that one out of there and put one the copper heat pipe sink, uh, heat sink out of the Dell Optiplex series um, machine in there. Uh, if I can find the model number, I gotta find it. I have a link to it on one of my other machines. If I can find the model number, I'll put it in the video notes. This way, any of you that might be interested in buying that can buy it. I know there's another individual out there who has actually upgraded those machines beyond belief, and that's the one I believe the one he's using. So um, that's pretty much where we're at on that, and. Uh, Thanks for the question. Thanks to all of you for uh, subscribing to the channel, all of you new subscribers. And we'll do more exciting videos. Uh, expect another one the next, probably the next week or so. We'll do one on the video card in this machine here. Uh, appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos.